When George Brown first built the Duchess and Columbia Railroad through Hopewell Junction, it wasn't Hopewell Junction, it was just plain Hopewell, uh, but one of the problems they had at that time, there was no telephone or telegraph or any communications. So it was one of the problems was how do you keep track of where your trains are along the line? It, it, you only had one little track and trains going in both directions and they had to pass each other and you wanted to make sure they didn't hit each other. So they developed a system of using paper. Uh, the engineer of a locomotive would have a paper in his hand which gave him permission to use the track in a particular section and when he was finished with it then another locomotive could use that same section. Uh, that worked but it was not, not great. But then along came the telegraph and they strung wires along the lines and they could communicate from one station to another. So when a train would pass one railroad station, the agent would telegraph ahead to the next station saying there's a train coming. And if the train didn't show up at the next station, they know there was a problem. So it was a much better system of taking care of where the trains were on the track and keeping from hitting each other. This is some of the equipment that was used to, uh, for the telegraph lines. This is the key. Uh, which would, the operator would press the button. You probably heard that familiar clicking sound on old Western movies. And that was, would be him sending a message to somebody else. Now notice there's a different one here. It has a different sound. That would be an incoming message from some other station. And with his third hand, he would write it down on a piece of paper. The next big advancement after the telegraph was when Alexander Bell and Graham Bell uh, came along with the telephone where you could actually transmit sound across that, through that wire. Uh, that way, uh, an agent could talk to another agent and there would be all kinds of communications back and forth between the various stations along the line. But this also brought up another possibility. You could send messages to somebody else just because you wanted to send a message to somebody. It didn't have to be a train. And pretty soon there were telegraph wires strung all over the world and news was coming in on the, on the wire, so they posted uh, things like weather reports on the wall, news, uh, news events, and the telegraph and the telephone really opened up the world to uh, the local people here in Hopewell Junction. By that time, Hopewell Junction uh, had become a junction when three railroads came together, so it was quite necessary that they have a lot of communication between the railroads.